God's First Book, Chapter 8 The First Phoenician Bible, Being of Abram, A Man Chosen by God for the Children of Arabinia. 1. Out of the host of Parsia, who were the people of Shem, who were since the days of the flood, came Abram, a man chosen by God, in the arks of Speta and Bon, for the deliverance of the faithists of Arabinia. God said, Because they have not raised up one out of the sons of Ham, thy name shall be henceforth Abraham, and it shall be testimony in thousands of years of my records in the libraries of heaven. 2. And it came to pass that forgers and deceivers, not having the fear of Jehovah before me, falsely gave the interpretation of the meaning of the words of Abra and Ham, not knowing in thousands of years that in so small a matter he would display the truth and glory of his revealed word. 3. God led Abram away from Hesa, his native place, where he was a maker of baskets, and took him to the ancient land of Ham, which had been destroyed by Drukes before the flood, as the name signifieth, whereafter God surnamed him Abraham, and made him chief rabbi over the faithists of Arabinia. 4. These, then, are the generations of the line whence came Abraham, that is to say, of Shem and the seventy tribes first going forth beyond the mountains of Owachab Habal, Tur, who settled in Parsia, and his descendants Rafbak, and his descendants Go, and his descendants Wawa, and his descendants Sadr. 5. In Sadr the line was lost, but through his daughter Barbar regained through the Ihans in the lands of goats, where the Lystians live, having fled from the tyranny of the kings of Oaz. 6. From Barbar was descended Egout, from him Dur, from him Walsha, from him Heliel, from him Raka. And here the line ran by female heirs, beginning in Raka's daughter, Hes, from who was descended Gilgil, from who was descended Thusa, from who was descended She, from who was descended seven generations in Suez, and it was lost in Wetaku, but regained again from Ihan seed, and appeared in Reboth, and again Suez extended through these generations. Arphaxid, Sala, Eber, Peleg, Ru, Sarug, Nahor, and Tera. But in Terah the line was lost, but regained by Ihan seed, from whose spring Geth, from whose spring Cho, from whose spring Goose, from whom spring Rabak, from whom spring Yashem, and by Ihan seed spring Tylot, and by Ihan seed Shiar, and by Ihan seed Shirah, from who descended Nahor the second, from who sprang Abram. 7. Abram was of pure blood, an Ihwan, and the light of Suez had been with his forefathers and foremothers since the, since the flood, and he was large and red like new copper, and had black hair and long beard, fierce to look upon, but his soul was gentle as a woman's. 8. Abram could see without eyes and hear without ears knowing things by the light of God, which dwelt in him. Wherefore, God chose Abram to gather together the faithists in Arabinia and the adjacent countries, even as he had appointed Po in Japheth. 9. In those days there were great kings and great men of great learning, and they had books of learning and instruments for measuring things far and near. 10. And Abram knew these things. For he had been a servant in a king's family, where learned men and women congregated. And so, knowing the power of God was upon him, he ran away in his youth, and lived amongst the Lystians, who made baskets and trinkets in the forest, which they sold to the king's peoples. 11. God spake to Abram, saying, Fear not men of learning, neither grieve thou for the learning in books. When they are forgotten, thy words and thy labors will overspread the world. 12. And God lived with Abram, teaching him and working miracles through him. And it came to pass that the Lystians in their rambles, selling wares, told the slaves of the kings about the wonders of Abram. 13. 
And the slaves fled from bondage and went into the wilderness in search of Abram. And when they came before him, he spake unto them day by day, as they came, saying, 14. Why have ye come? I called you not. And when they could not answer, Abram said unto them, God brought you. Man of himself doeth nothing. Search then the records of your generations, for ye are descended from the faithest of old. 15. And they searched, and found not one had came, but was descended from before the time of Zarathustra. 16. Abram said, Think not that God cometh to one man alone. When he provideth a voice, he also provideth ears and hearts. Because ye have been faithful unto him, he calleth you to deliverance from your enemies, who are God's enemies also. Chapter 9 1. When there had come to Abram in Shadowan four thousand five hundred souls, God spake to Abram, saying, Come now, I will lead thee and thy people into another country. 2. So Abram led them thence and came into lower Houd Lutz. And it came to pass that in the next year after they departed out of Sheadoan, a famine came upon the land and the enemies of God were cut off and could not pursue Abram and his people. 3. After this it was that Abram was called Abraham, and he built altars of worship and altars of sacrifice according to the commandments of God. 4. Now it came to pass in the early days of Abraham, he told his brothers that the light and power of God were with him. And, though others believed in Abraham, yet Lot, Abraham's brother, and Lot, Abraham's nephew, believed not in Abraham, saying of him, He was born naturally, and is wise of his own judgment. 5. God said to Abraham, Behold, it is an easy matter to commune with spirits, but to judge righteously of them is not so easy. For which reason thou and thy wife and one hundred picked men shall go and visit Sodom and Gomorrah in the valley of Sidim. 6. And Abraham and his people went as commanded by God and visited the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah. And God spake privily to Abraham, saying, I will destroy these cities, for they are as hells for evil spirits. But Lot shall escape for thy sake. 7. And when they came to Sodom, behold, angels walked amongst the people, and the people knew they were angels, but cared not for them. And there were laws made by Bera, king of Sodom, regarding the behavior betwixt angels and men. 8. And Abraham, being pressed by the presence of God, said unto his people, Behold, there are angels that love to dwell in lust, and to partake with mortals, to eat with them to lie down with them, and to partake in all ungodly pleasures. 9. God, through his angels, rained down fire and brimstone on Sodom and Gomorrah, and they were burnt and destroyed. Lot, the elder, escaped, and went and lived in a cave. 10. Now, after Abraham and his people were returned to Jireh, his camp, and it was night, God said to Abraham, be thou steadfast, and show thy people that they may understand my words. 11. And whilst they were yet praying before the altar, God withdrew from Abraham and suffered the evil angels, who had followed them from Sodom and Gomorrah, to draw near about the altar. And one of the angels clothed himself in a great light, and with a crown, and with sparkling gems, and he appeared so all the multitude of people could look upon him. 12. Abraham said, who art thou? And the Spirit said, I am thy God, ruler of heaven and earth. Abraham said, I am thy servant, and what wouldst thou? And the Spirit said, Thou shalt take thine only son Isaac, and thy host, who were with thee at Sodom and Gomorrah, and go with me whither I will lead thee, for I have a great work for thee. 13. Abraham said, Whatsoever thou puttest upon me to do, that will I do. 14. So in the morning, Abraham and his son Isaac and the host who had been with Abraham to Sodom and Gomorrah assembled together. And Abraham spake, saying, Whither, O God? 
15. The spirit answered, saying, Take sticks and a firebrand, and come thou to the summit of yonder hill, for thou shalt restore the rites of burnt offerings. So Abraham told what God had said, and they started. And Isaac carried the bundle of willows, such as basket makers use, saying, This will light the large pieces. But what wilt thou burn for an offering, O father? And Abraham said, God will provide. 16. And when they ascended to the place, Abraham gathered logs and heaped them up, and Isaac placed the willows. 17. Then spake the Spirit, saying, What shall a man love above all things in the world? And Abraham said, God. And the Spirit said, For which reason thou shalt offer thine only son, Isaac, as a burnt offering? And it shall be testimony before thy people that thou wilt obey God, even to the sacrifice of thine own flesh and kin. 18. Abraham said, Show me that thou art God, that I may not err, for I have been commanded not to kill. 19. And the Spirit departed away from Abraham, perceiving that he knew the higher law. And Isaac was grieved at heart, for he desired to witness what a sacrifice was. And the people, seeing a ram near at hand, went and caught it, and slaughtered it, and sprinkled the blood on the sacrifice. And they lighted the fire and roasted the flesh, and took it and gave it to the poor. 20. And Abraham called the place Jehovah-Jireh, and they returned to the camp. And Abraham, being moved of God, spake before the people. Chapter 10, 1. Abraham said, This testimony declare I unto you, whereof witnesses are of your own brethren, that even the chosen of God can be deceived by evil angels. For they can take any name and form, and, having no fear of God before them, declare falsehood for truth and darkness for light. 2. And, as ye have seen, the evilest of cities, even as well as the purest, may be the abiding place of angels. 3. For which reason ye shall not seek signs and miracles, for these may be of evil spirits, even to the showing of their bodies, and of conversing learnedly. It is not in the power of man to know by words and signs, or by oaths or promises, what is truth. 4. One thing hath the Father created withal, which is his own light. Wherefore, be ye believing toward men and angels, and wherein they teach ye according to Jehovah, which is life unto all, and happiness unto all, without sacrifice to any, they are holy. 5. If man or angel say, Visit the sick, and administer to the distress, follow his advice, for it is of the Father. 6. But if man or an angel say, Do thou thus, and thou shalt have profit, or glory, or applause, obey him not, for he adviseth for thyself, and not for the brotherhood of men. He is not of God. 7. For spirits will come in disguise of your fathers and mothers who are dead, professing love and profit to you. Believe them not, save they teach you to sacrifice self for the good of others. 8. The wicked in heart, having profited in herds and in gold and silver, say, Behold, God hath blessed me, but I say unto you, They are cursed and not of God. Hath he here gathered you together because ye were rich? Ye were slaves and in poverty, sick and in bondage, and he came and delivered you. Be ye like unto him, and he will abide with you. 9. If a man come, saying, Behold, this is my coat, give it to me. Thou shalt say, Prove thyself as to who thou art. But if a man come to thee, saying, Thy herd has gone astray, thou shalt not say to him, Prove thyself as to who thou art. But go thou, and see after thy herd. 10. If a spirit say, Behold, I am thy father, say to him, It is well, what wouldest thou? And when he answereth thee, Consider if his words be of God. And if his words be not of God, which are for the glory of the Creator, thou shalt challenge him to prove himself. 11. As God is captain of heaven and earth unto all righteous souls, 
so is there a Satan who is captain over evil spirits. 12. And inasmuch as the king's people have not faith in the Father, their souls fall a prey to Satan and his hosts. 13. Let not any man flatter himself, saying, Behold, I have joined the faithist Israelites. My soul shall escape hell. For in that day and hour God may be putting him to the test, to see if his heart be for good works and holiness. For as ye profess God, ye are doubly bound to practice godliness in your behavior toward men and angels.